Welcome back. Today, we're going to open up the second Battle Styles booster box. And we're going to open up three Urshifu V boxes. That brings us to a total of 42 packs. So let's see if we could get some good pulls. If we could get that Tyranitar V alternative art. And if we could top the first booster box opening. I've got the booster box open and the three Urshifu V boxes opened as well. But there's a slight problem. One of the packs looks like they weren't manufactured correctly. So it's open. So we're going to go ahead and open it up and see what we get. I've got the six booster packs from those three boxes here. As you can see, the pack seems like it wasn't sealed shut correctly. Um, like there's no clue at all, if you could see. So I guess we're going to just open it up and see what happens. Well, kind of already spoiled it. Whatever. So, how are we gonna do this? Let's see. One, two, three, four. Whoa, do you see those cards? It looks like it got stamped. Look. Wow. That's interesting. <laughs> All right. So, let's see. We got a fighting energy. Buffalo Land. Level Ball. Spupa. Lip Bug. Pawnward. Mankey, Slizipede, Baltoy, Frillish, and a Stormjourner. Yeah, this is a uh, this is definitely an interesting um, pack. I've never encountered a pack where it was already open before, so I guess they're making this stuff so quickly that um, I'm not really checking. I guess the quality of things so it just got passed by I know Pokemon is in a huge rush to um, huge rush to print these products so they're not really checking so we got a lightning energy go bat Bruno did I do this correctly Carkle Flip Bug Silicobra Houndoom Lickitung, Horsey, Reverse Hollow Bruno, and a Primate. Okay. So, we're looking to get, I think we got seven pulls last time. So, we're trying to get seven or better. I mean, we should have a pretty good chance of getting something better, right? We have six extra packs. Let's see how are these codes so... These packs are, they're all, I guess, manufactured differently. All the codes have been upside down and all over the place. Cherubi, Info, Silicobra, Galarian Mr. Mine, Bellsprout. Ooh, Reverse Hollow Houndoom, and a Galarian Mr. Rhyme. That's what I needed. I needed a Houndoom. That card is so, so important in making a good single strike deck. Yeah, these packs are um, definitely a little harder to open up than my packs that I opened in my previous video. So let's see. Okay. I like to not look at the color of the uh, code card so I don't spoil it for myself. Peko, single style or single strike mustard, onyx, mawa, cherubi. I never know how to pronounce that name. Chimchi, reverse hollow corpfish, and a Lorantis. We are missing pretty hard on these um, these packs from the collection box. I mean, what's that four already? Four no hit. Hmm. It's, uh, it's that kind of luck that we're having right now. Okay. Code cards right. One, two, three, four. From the back. Let's see. We have a psychic energy. Brixish. Car Carnivine. Horsey. Lickitung. Electabuzz. Esper. Let's get something good here. Timber. 
reverse hollow girder and a hollow colossal colossal technically that is a hit but i'm not gonna count it i really don't count hollows as a hit um i don't know I just spoiled like that so let's see if we can get a hit here the last for the last pack from the collection boxes so what do we have here we got a metal energy Mustard, more Peko, Dewblade, Cubone, Murkrow, Tapig, Honedge, Electabuzz, Reverse Hollow, Salazzle, and we got a Stoutland V. There we go. We got one hit. One hit out of those six packs. Hopefully, we have better luck when it comes to the um, the booster box. So. Let's go ahead and open the booster box now. Oh, and I think I made a mistake and I said 52 packs. That's actually wrong. I think I was trying to total up. Total up. Uh, oh, crap. The. Um, one, two, three, four. The total packs of. Both booster boxes. Anywho, the math was totally wrong anyways. We have 36 packs. Uh, it should be 42 total packs that we're opening. So the code card came a little differently in these packs. So I kind of spoiled it for myself. But I don't know. Maybe we could still get something good. Holy coly. Sandal. First Hollow Honage and a Corvulter. So... I need to remember which direction the codes were facing. So that means the code is on the back. Yep. One, two, three, four. All right, come on. Let's get something good. Grass energy, level ball. Pignit, Pignite. Dawdler, Murkrow, Yamper. Clear and Slowpoke, Clam Meow. Lizapede, the first hollow go back. Whoa, there we go. And we got an Akruzma V. Let's go. What a great card. Oh man, is that uh is that the alternate art? I think that is. So I'm gonna go ahead and sleeve that up and we're gonna I guess sleeve up that stout one while we're at it. Kind of forgot about that one, but man, look at that. I didn't really, uh, I don't think I've played any of the Pokemon games with the Cruzma. I think that, I don't remember which game is that from, but this is our first alternative art. Man, that looks awesome. Yeah, our first uh, alternative art of this booster box. So we're looking pretty good. Let's see if we could get more. Got another to pig. Yep. One, two, three, four from the back. Let's go. Got a dark energy. Carkle. Bruno. Another go bat. Go bat's a good card. Murkrow. Cubone. Scatterbug. Corpfish. Cladle. Mm, and a licky icky. That's our rare card. All right. You know. We got plenty of packs to go through, plenty of opportunity to uh, get something good. Of course, we're still looking for, um, we're still looking for the alternative art, Tyranitar, um, but we're also looking for the alternative art, Urshifus as well. Actually, really any alternative art, they all look cool. First Hollow and Didi. And we got another Tyranitar. We got a Tyranitar in the last booster box. Well, first booster box. Okay. Maybe we could build a pretty decent Tyranitar deck. I mean, I, I, I want to think that they're going to come out with um, a 
Tyranitar V Max. They have to, right? I think it's a pretty popular Pokemon. So, why would they not? Four. We'll be ready whenever we uh, get one. Cheryl, Mustard, Cactarine, Onyx, Chimchu, Roly Coly, Blipbug, Frillish, Heatmore, and an Orbeetle holographic. Again, technically that is a hit, but I'm not gonna count it because I'm too good for hollows. 20, 20 years ago when Pokemon first released, I would definitely count it because hollows are pretty awesome, but they got a bunch of different cards now. That's the lowest rarity in my opinion. <laughs> When it comes to hits, Sandlit, Liger, Baltoy, Electabuzz, Honage, first Hall of Rumor Raid. Whoa! And we got a Tapu Coco V Max. Let's go! We actually got a couple of Tapu Cocos. So we are really looking for this. We can make a good deck with this V Max. We are hitting right now, right? Man, we are looking, looking pretty good, I will say. Man, I think, I think we are gonna have a better, better box than the first box. It's already looking like that. Man, feels great. Feels great. One, two, three, four. Let's keep the ball rolling. Metal Energy, Tower of Waters, Escape Rope, Carnvine. Glam Meow, Yamper, Mienfo, Bellsprout, Sandlit, the first Hollow Roly Coley, ooh, and a Holographic Entei. Love Entei. Entei is definitely one of my favorite legendary Pokemons. I actually love all the legendary dogs from the Johto region. Johto, the Pokemon Silver and Gold game has a special place in my heart. So we got another Mental Energy, Bruxish, Tool Jammer, Lepeko, Horsey, Murkrow, can I get the camera to focus? Bronzer, Bellsprout. Let's see if it'll focus, there we go. Electabuzz, Reverse Hollow Luxray, and a Galarian Mr. Rhyme. Let's get this piece of the pack out of here and see if we could get some more pulls. I mean, what's that? We got three pulls so far, right? From this booster box. We got one one pull from uh from the collection box. So here we go. Psychic energy, crumb pig, escape rope. It's a very useful card in this game. Morkrow. I think I saw something in the back. Larian Slowpoke. Timber. Esper. Electabuzz. Reverse Hollow Sandaconda. Actually, I did not see something in the back. It was the Reverse Hollow that was teasing me. But maybe that is a sign of things to come. Maybe that's a sign of a really, really special pool. Who knows? We gotta get there, right? So, Psychic Energy, Doddler, Fan of Waves, another good card, Esper, Roly Coley. It's a very interesting name. It's like Roly Poly. Oh, there we go, Reverse Hollow Kingdra. This is a fantastic card for the game. Whenever your active Pokemon is knocked out by damage from an attack, you may move any amount of water energy from this Pokemon to this Kingdra. And the attack is one energy and it does 40 damage times the number of water energy attached to the Kingdra. That's so good. Oh man, I'm actually, I've actually been looking for that Kingdra. I only have, I think one, one right now, but I definitely want to build a deck around it. There's a Pokemon called Frost Moth. It has an ability 
called um, I don't remember what it's called but it lets you put a bunch of water energy on your Pokemon I think one Pokemon on the bench so that would be very very useful to use with that that Kingdra single strike Mangy Pawner reverse holo Tapu Bulu this is another good card and we got a victory bell and you know what we're not getting hits right now but I will take these good cards that I'm actually looking looking to make decks with. And I also love how easy it is for me to open these packs because I am known to struggle. Karina's Focus, there we go. Tower of Darkness. Two good cards that is going to be very useful to make a deck with. Mienfo, Bellsprout, Sandalit. First Hollow Gliger and a Bolton. Oh man, we are not getting the hits, but we still have plenty of packs to open. Plenty of packs. Wow, I completely just tore that pack apart. One, two, three, four from the back. Fighting energy. Is that a sign that we're going to get the Urshifu? Spupa? Level Ball, another good card, Buffalant, Topig, Murkrow, Cubo, Scatterbug, Corpfish, Reverse Hollow to Pig, and a Vivillon. Mm. The uh, disappointment continues. <laughs> but you know, that's how that's how it goes. You can't get a hit in every pack. I think I've kind of been spoiled by Shining Fates. I mean, I feel like Shining Fates, you get some good hits, like almost seems like every pack, but this is a regular set. So nothing special here. Weeping Bell. I think the pool rates are about the same. There's, you know, no shiny Pokemon here. So it's a little different, it's a different set. But, hmm, Primate. But, um, that's what makes Shining Fate so special because it is a special set. But I still like Battle Styles. I think Battle Styles is very unique. Um, I like the cards that they have, I like the direction that they're going with the game. Uh, I have a Pokemon tournament. Um, think about entering this weekend so these cards will be very helpful for me to make a deck to enter that so hopefully I get one win if I could get one win that would be pretty awesome for my first time in a tournament Firo. oh there we go we got a rapid strike Empoleon V another fantastic card let's go and okay Okay, I'm getting I'm getting my confidence back, that's for sure. Getting my confidence back. Let's keep it going. Awesome, awesome pull. And of course, I think they're gonna come out with a uh Impelion V Max, just like the Tyranitar. It is a very popular starter Pokemon. So they're gonna make one, right? They're gonna make a V Max. Tower of Waters, Crawdon, Ndidi, Frillish, Roly Coley, Spoink, Cacnea, Bronzer, First Hollow, Tower of Darkness, and we get another Stoutland. Okay. Okay, we are getting the hits. We are really, really bringing in the hits now. I think I was right. I think this box is better than the first box. So, I think next month, I, I believe next month, oh, I guess I'm just gonna put this right on top of this other stout one. Um, they will be releasing battle styles, t battle style tins, and the promo Pokemon in the tins is the Impelion V and the Tyranitar V. One, two, three, four, 
three, four. So that's going to be a good way to get one of those two cards as well. Carnivine, Roxish, to Pig, Murkrow, Cubone with its bone, Scatterbug, Crawdon, or er, crop, Cropfish, Zubat, and Perfect. oh my gosh! We got a Rainbow Rare Flapple VMAX. Wow! Oh my gosh! Wow! That is, that has got to be the sparkliest. Is that even a word? The sparkliest, the most sparkled rainbow card. My gosh, look at that thing. I can barely even see the flap. <laughs> wow. What a fantastic pool. Oh, man. Okay, man, we are looking good. Let's see what else can we find here. Man, I'm not expecting that. I've been I've been pulling the rainbow cards a lot recently. I mean, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say I don't want them, but hey, I'll take them. Not I'm not as big of a fan as the rainbow cards as the regular mainly because I like to see the colors of the Pokemon card. But hey, that's a good pull. I'll take that any day compared to not getting anything. Wow. I'd say we are about halfway through the box now. So, plenty of opportunity. We're still looking for those chase cards. The chase alternative artwork cards got a dark energy double blade crawdon swordward and shelbert slizzipede single strike mankey honored lip bug shinx reverse hollow phalanx ah, and an egg slash man that uh that rainbow flapple v max is it's kind of exciting <laughs> It's, a, it's an interesting Pokemon, if you don't know about it. It is a Apple Dragon. Don't ask me how an Apple can become a Dragon, or a Dragon can become an Apple, but that's what it is. Camping Gear, Single Strike Energy, Bisharp, Onyx, Chimchu, Holy Coley, Flip Bug, Relish, First hollow bow toy. Oh, there we go. And we got our first rapid strike Urshifu. I'll tell you something really interesting about this Urshifu. So, this Urshifu is actually a little different than the Urshifu from the collection box. The moves are different. Um, I wish I had known that before I got the collection boxes. It's also the same with the single strike Urshifu from the set and the promos. It's different. Um, one, two, three, four. I think both rapid strike Urshifus you could use, but I think the single strike one, the promo is not as good. Spoink, Mawaw, Cactia, Cropfish. First Hollow Furo and a Cinescorch. But I definitely do see myself using the promo Rapid Strike Urshifus, but I think I like the normal one, the one that we just got a little bit better, the way that I want to make an Urshifu deck. But of course, it all depends if I could get that Rapid Strike Urshifu VMAX though. Gotta get that first. That is a very key component in a Rapid Strike Urshifu deck. It's the VMAX. So we got a Tapig, Bronzer. Oh, there we go. Rapid Strike Octillery. Another fantastic card. The ability lets you go look for any Rapid Strike Pokemon in your deck. So 
course, very important in making a rapid strike deck. And we got a holographic Aegis Slash. You know what? I'll take it. I think I only have two Octillaries right now, but having more is always good. I don't know if I will ever run four Octillery in a deck, mainly because mainly because the ability only works with one Octillery. Well, you could only use the ability once. No matter how many Octillery you have on the bench. Unlike Houndoom. Houndoom, you could use as many of its ability as you have Houndooms out. But Octillery is... You could only use it once. We have a Reverse Hollow Energy Recycler. Ooh, and we got a Galarian Slowbro. So, I definitely think I have a decent amount of cards to make a good deck for the tournament. Um, I haven't really thought too much of what deck I'm going to make. I haven't looked through my cards thoroughly to really figure out. But, I know I have a decent amount of cards to make a decent deck. Nothing too crazy, but hopefully a decent deck for me to not be absolutely awful. So how many packs do we have left? Oh, we have plenty of packs left. But yeah, hopefully not to be absolutely awful. Um, I do have some experience playing the trading card game, but it's all online. But I think it should be very similar. Kind of water energy. Cactor. Rapid Strike. Scroll of Swirls. Seedra. Bellsprout. Electabuzz. Gligar. Old Edge. Scatterbug. Reverse Hollow. More Peko. And an Aegis Slash. Hmm. Where are the hits? Where are the hits? That is what we're looking for. My gosh. I barely did anything to this pack and I actually tore it open I mean I guess are flimsy packs a bad thing I don't know definitely a lot easier for me to open I don't struggle with any of these battle styles lick a tongue hound or single strike hound or lip bug esper Reverse Hollow Luxio and a Victory Bell. We are striking out. We are striking out. But we have, let's see, let's go ahead and count it up. Two, four, six, eight, nine. So this is our 10th pack. We have 10 packs to go. So let's see if we could get something good in these last 10 packs. Right. One, two, three, four. Meadow Energy. Mustard. Bruno. Gliscor. Sleepy Onyx. Looks a little upset that. Looks like somebody woke him up. Frillish. Reverse Hollow Primate. And a Cinescorch. Primate, I think, is, uh card I could probably use. I definitely have enough primates and mankeys to make a decent deck. I think what's awesome about battle styles is you can make a deck where you don't really need a V or V max card. And I think that's pretty awesome. And I think you'll be able to compete with non V cards. I mean, it's a little different, but it's, uh, it's, I feel like it's competable. That's for sure. All right. Let's see if we could get some good pulls. I want to see something great. I want to see something that just blows me away. Indeed. Weaving Bell. Luxio. Murkrow. Yamber, Clarion Slowpoke, look at those eyes, 
Slizipede, Reverse Hollow Blip Bug, and a Primate. Seems like it's been a while since we got a hit. It's been a while since we got that Rainbow Hollow Flapple VMAX. Do we have anything left in these packs to get? Let's see. All right, here we go. Fighting Energy, Cedra, Curder, Earn of Vitality, Mawaw, Cacnea. Corpfish, Timber, Baltoid, Reverse Hollow Slizipede, and a Bronzong. This is another good card that's really useful for making a good deck, especially a Metal Whip deck. As often as you like during your turn, you may move a Metal Energy from one of your Pokemon to another Pokemon. Fantastic card. All right. We are getting down to our last six packs. Last six packs. Let's get something good. Let's get something good in every pack. Either be a card that is useful for making a deck or a really awesome artwork. Carcal, Experience Share, Rapid Strike Energy. That's a good good energy to have to make a rapid strike deck for mantis galarian mr mime reverse hollow level ball and a phalanx mm. here we go pack number five what can we find one two three four from the back we have a lightning energy, Karina's Focus, Tower of Darkness, two good cards back to back that are good for making a pretty good deck. Flickitung, Yamper, Scatterbug, Reverse Hollow Weeping Bell, and a Cockle Tour. Oh my gosh. We are striking out and we are striking out hard. We are on the last four packs of this booster box need some good luck. I want to see a Rapid Strike Urshifu. I need one to make this deck that I'm looking to make. Fighting Energy, Cheryl, Dewblade. I'll tell you what, I will take a Full Art Trainer card. That's something I haven't seen in a while. Love Full Art Trainer cards. And in the back we got a, a Holographic Octillery. I'll take that. I'll take it. Fantastic card. All right, last three packs. Let's see what can we get. Oh my gosh, I'm, I hope I get something. I hope I get a hit in these last three. Grass Energy, Girder, Tower of Darkness, per, per Ugly, Lickitung, Houndor, Silicobra, Blip Bug, Esper, Pig Knight. <gasps> oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh, this is it. Wow, wow. I can't believe it. Wow. The the alternative art Tyranitar. Wow. We did it. We actually did it. Oh my gosh. I love this artwork. Oh my gosh, he just got done eating so much food and look at look at the um i don't remember the name of the the pokemon but they're both passed out oh my gosh that tyranitar is knocked out wow this booster box has been amazing oh my gosh yes that is what i'm looking for wow Let's go. We have two more packs to open. How are we going to top that? Oh my gosh. That's awesome. I love that card. That card has probably one of the best artwork I've ever seen. That is so relatable. Dublade, Crawdun, Swordward and Shelbert, Lickitung, Cherubi, Orsi, 
Murkrow, Bronzer, Galarian Slowpoke, and a Lorantis. Wow, I I don't know what to say. That I wasn't expecting that. I mean, of course that's what I'm looking for, but hey. <laughs> that's awesome. This has been a great booster box. We have gotten some really, really good pulls. And we got one of the chase cards. So this is our last pack. Let's see if we could get one last hit. We got a Dublade, Doodler, Fan of Waves, Remoraid, Fromantis, Mawile, Mankey, Horsey, Reverse Hollow Lickitung, and in the back we got a Flapple V. There we go. We got a hit on the last pack. And not only did we get a hit on the last pack, we got hit that we definitely need to make a good deck we got a couple of flapple v's and a couple of flapple v maxes already wow what a fantastic pack opening video we got so many good cards we got two stoutlands we got a tyranitar a tapu coco v max an impelion v a alternative art Necruzma. We also got the Rapid Strike Urshifu V in this set. We got the Flapple V, of course, and this awesome, awesome Rainbow Flapple V Max. And of course, we finally got the Alternative Art Tyranitar, one of our chase cards that I was looking for. Man. This has got to be one of my best, best openings. This is up there with my uh, double Shiny Charizard VMAX openings. I mean, it's not Shiny Charizard VMAX, but I mean, we hit quite a bit in this booster box. So thank you for watching. And if you enjoy these videos, go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel i'm gonna have more videos every week um, so you can look forward to that hopefully we continue our luck in getting great great pulls like we did today so thank you again for watching and i hope you have a great day